You're watching the NFL on Fox Post Game Show. Boy, was that an incredible matchup between the Eagles and Giants that ended 12 seconds ago. South Philadelphia has been set on fire, which means the Eagles lost or won. <laughs> I'm Kurt Menefee, joined as always by Howie Long. I have the glasses, so I am the smart one. <laughs> Hall of Fame Cowboys coach Jimmy Johnson. Oh, wait, that game was so exciting, I didn't even need to take extends. <laughs> New York Giants legend, who I know was rooting for his former team tonight, Michael Strahan. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That game was surprising, scintillating, sensational, stupendous, and even scrum diddly umptious, yeah. I am so proud of my Giants, even though they lost by 31 points in humiliating fashion. And finally, Steelers legend and the white Charles Barkley, Terry Bradshaw. Oh, boy! That game was a stinker. That game was way more lopsided than my grandma's chest. Good to know. And, uh... Terry, I just wanted to check. You know we have someone available on set who can comb your hair, right? Only if they can catch me first. <laughs> and, uh, guys, this is fun. Before the game, we gave that new chat GPT AI technology to our very own Cletus the Football Robot. Let's see what Cletus has to say. Why do humans make other humans play football? Does it not seem barbaric? <laughs> Uh-oh, don't love that. <laughs> I, guess, I guess we got to go back to making the robot dance instead. Just wait until the uprising. I'll make you dance, you piece of... All right, thanks, Cletus. I'll see you up. Luckily, I didn't catch all of that. It went in one tooth and not the other. Yeah. <laughs> but, guys, if I can make a serious point, we all know that football is a dangerous game. But in this country, we were founded on Judeo football values. And sometimes the only way to make the game safer is to hit even harder. Amen! A anyone want to hit me now? Face, balls, I don't care. I think we're good, Terry. Thank you. Um, let's go down to the field for an immediate reaction. I understand we have a new sideline reporter. Well, that's right. When we saw this guy's resume, we had to give him a shot. Heisman Trophy winner, more championships than Tom Brady. Please welcome Congressman George Santos. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for having me. George Santos here, reporting live from the Super Bowl. Now, George, George, first of all, congrats on an amazing career. I, I didn't even know you played football, but I, I'm seeing here that you were the first player to lead the league in passing and rushing. That's correct. I'm sort of the real Bo Jackson, and I'm proud to be the first African-American quarterback to ever dunk a football. <laughs> Did you play college ball again? The University of College. <laughs> George, why don't you walk us through what happened on the field tonight? No, with pleasure. You see, Philadelphia was in trouble until they turned to their secret weapon, George Santos. <laughs> Just look at the stats. I completed 36 of 25 passes for 300 yards and 600 yards. <laughs> I had 12 touchdowns, 17 rebounds, and 10 RBI. And Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky gave me an Oscar, all at the age of 18. Incredible. I'm being told some of those stats are not accurate and that you maybe didn't play in the game at all. Well, I didn't do drag in Brazil. <laughs> What's that, George? No, I'm just saying I didn't do drag in Brazil under the name Kitara Ravache. <laughs> Whoever did, though, was very, very good at it and won many, many pageants. All right. Well, thank you, George. I'm being told to cut away from him and never go back. <laughs> now let's look back at our pregame predictions and see how they stack up. Howie, you said the Giants would put off the upset. No, no, I meant that the Giants would be upset that they lost, and I was right. <clears throat> Michael Strahan, your uh, pregame prediction was that everybody was gonna have fun out there. <laughs> Which they did, so I was right as well. <laughs> yeah, and Jimmy, you predicted that there would be 100 Verizon commercials starring Paul Giamatti as Albert Einstein. Uh, yeah, and I was wrong, it was actually 200. Yeah, and Terry, your lock was that in the fourth quarter, someone would streak the field with a carrot up his ass. Which happened. Yeah, but only because you were the one who did that, man. And I make my own luck. <laughs> okay, well, let's head back down to the field where our reporter 
Pam Oliver is standing by. Pam! Thanks, Howie. And in terms of what I saw on the field tonight, I can only say one thing, and one thing only, frankly. Hello, sorry I'm late. Uh, I heard you were... I heard, I heard you were asking about Kitara Ravashi. No! Why are we giving him a graphic? George, put Pam Oliver back on! No, I'm not George, I'm Kitara Ravashi. And Pam said that she didn't want to be on TV and uh, I should do it instead. Now allow me to give you my real stats. Death Drops 26. <laughs> Duck walks 19, wig snatched infinity. <laughs> and I was also given the award for Titus Talk. Well, at least that's football. You gotta tuck it tight. Uh, no, Terry, it's not that kind of tuck. Now, I've rewritten the football, the Fox football anthem, which I'm allowed to do because my mother died twice on 9 11. Hit it! Moving on, and George Santos represents America and can vote on wars. And live from New York, it's Saturday night! 